I guess it's the inevitable happening, but I was hoping it wouldn't quite just yet. My nine-year-old gender creative son has become acutely aware that most of society thinks a little boy owning stereotypical girl stuff is inappropriate. Though he boldly chose and wears to school a backpack matching his personality, a glittery rainbow explosion of kittens, hearts, and cupcakes, in fourth grade, he is excluded by peers. Almost overnight, he has learned the ugly truth about gender stereotypes. In our house, we, we don't have boy toys or girl toys. We just have toys and everyone can play. I should never have to justify why I think it's okay for my son to wear a princess costume if it makes him happy and isn't harming anyone. But I'm willing to justify it if that means I can get even one person to see what is good and what is true about harmless self-expression. My youngest son has always been fascinated with all things poofy, sparkly, pink, and fancy. It started when he was two, a mere fascination with admiring, feeling, and later wearing his sister's ballet costumes for the simple reason that they were pretty. As this gained momentum, I realized it wasn't a phase. At three, he preferred playing princess dress up over anything. By four, he loved reenacting scenes from movies such as The Wizard of Oz. By seven, he was sewing his own baby doll costumes, and this year he took up knitting. It was never a phase. As he continues to grow older, I watch as he becomes more detached from the boys, having no desire to play ball at recess, even though he can shoot a free throw with natural ease. He still wants to play with girls. He's always gravitated towards girls, but at age nine, he has found himself in no man's land. In fourth grade, the raging chemical reactions of adolescence are embryonic, but they are burgeoning and all bets are off. Boys tend to shun other boys who aren't athletic or tough and girls no longer want boys joining their social hierarchy and exclusive clubs. This isn't a reflection of something my husband and I did wrong in our parenting. Well, of course we made and continue to make mistakes, but we didn't impregnate our son with a preference for pink. We did our due diligence buying him trucks and tool sets, but he was never interested. We wondered why. Why won't he touch his fire truck? Why is he building ornate birdhouses and glass slippers out of Legos instead of spaceships? <laughs> it dawned on me later that he was something I have come to learn much about, gender creative. It's not a mental disorder. It's not dysphoria. There is no confusion or dissatisfaction involved. My son is very happy with being a boy and having boy parts. He simply prefers all the things that are marketed to girls. I remember the day it occurred to me, like a light bulb over my head. It happened one morning when I had all three kids in Target to spend their Christmas gift cards. My daughter, who was six at the time, went right to the little girl aisle. She surveyed the newest fashion for Barbie, the pet horses, the miniature cooking gadgets. My oldest son, nearly eight at the time, went to the boy aisle. He studied the complex Lego structures, the alien slime, the Star Wars figurines. Naturally, I took my youngest son, then three, to the little boy aisle. As my older two feasted their eyes on fun and exciting new possibilities, my youngest sat down on the cold, hard floor, played with the Velcro on his shoes, and seemed completely detached. I tried showing him everything, all the boy stuff at his level, jumbo blocks, matchbox cars, beginning Lego sets. These items evoked not so much as a glance. On a whim, I said, 
Honey, which aisle would you like to look at? Thrilled that he even had a choice, he stood straight up and led me by the hand to the girl's aisle containing princess playthings. He made a beeline to an oval pink, full-sized mirror that lit up and with a push of a button declared, you are the fairest one of all. <laughs> yes, mommy, this is it. This is the only thing I want. Please, can I have it? His eyes were full of innocence. It was a done deal. At his fifth birthday party, one of the gifts my son received was a Dorothy costume, complete with ruby slippers. None of his friends thought this was odd at the time. My son had wanted this costume for a year. I saw the glimmer of excitement in his eye after he opened it. But I watched closely. He became aware that a few of the adults in the room were chuckling, joking lightly about this gift. And as I focused back on my son, I saw wisdom beyond his years take over his little face as he gently laid the costume and tissue paper aside. Later on, when it was just him and his friends playing, they all raided his costume box and traded princess gowns, boys and girls alike. And my son ran around the front yard, rocking that Dorothy costume and slippers until it was bedtime. But later that night, I cried alone in my room for two hours because my child was wise enough to know that some adults are uncomfortable with his choices, even though he is okay with them. Do you know what it feels like to have to defend your child's playthings? Do you know how it undermines me when you ask what my child wants for his birthday? And I answer, princess stuff. And you refuse to let that be the answer? Do you know how much it hurts me to know because you can't see past the issues of fear and embarrassment that you will never truly appreciate the amazingly creative, honest, feeling, thinking, loving, sparkling joy that is my son? You're worried he's going to be gay. Does a pink tutu make a boy gay? No. What does? Having sexual interest in the same sex, simply put. And I can assure you that my nine-year-old child, no matter how wise, is still innocent enough that he's not sexualizing things at this stage of his life. It's coming soon, I know. But the bigger question to me is, why is this even a concern? Whether he grows up to be gay, bi, straight, trans, questioning, queer, or whatever, my love is unconditional. When I teach my children to take pride in their accomplishments, their passions, their whole being, I am taking pride in those things right alongside them. My job as a mom is to help my children love and accept themselves and take pride in themselves so that when the insults and harsh blows of life do come, they will know to be strong at their inner core. Even when the teasing or drama wears them down on the outside, they'll know that both home and heart are safe havens. My hope is that instead of rolling over and playing dead, they will one day fight back fight back for what is right and what is true. Teach them to take pride in their whole being, to equip my children with pride, unconditional love, and freedom so that they can reveal who they really are. That is my responsibility. <laughs>